Good Sunday morning, everybody. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm supposed to get up like 81 today here at the Ashurst Lake. Starting out with a wonderful cup of coffee. On this saying on this cup is from the scriptures. Wanting us to stay awake to the influences of the devil and stand firm on behalf of God. Jehovah God. I'm a Jehovah Witness and this is one of the finest scriptures that uh, I enjoy. I'm going to share with you today. It comes from the book of Micah, fourth chapter. And this is a a promise for the future. Listen to, what, listen to what this says. In the final part of the days, the mountain of the house of Jehovah will become firmly established above the top of the mountains, and it will be raised up above the hills, and to it peoples will stream. And many nations will go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of Jehovah, and to the house of the God of Jacob. He will instruct us about his ways, and we will walk in his paths. The law will go out of Zion and the word of Jehovah out of Jerusalem. He will render judgment among many peoples and set matters straight, respecting mighty nations far away. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning shares. Nation will not lift up sword against nation, nor will they learn war any more. When you think about all the wars that are taking place today, you know this is not happening now. It's got to be a prophecy and a promise for the future. And what a wonderful future it is. So if you want to learn more about that and why we use the name Jehovah, go to jw.org. Type in Jehovah. It'll explain the name. Type in wars, and it'll explain the belief about uh, the future prospect of absolutely no wars when the whole world will be in, in peace. So God bless you this day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your coffee. It's going to be a good one.